Karl Popper, a renowned philosopher, said in his work in The Paradox of Tolerance that tolerance defeats itself when it permits intolerant speech. As long as fake news is permitted in the media, governmental tolerance is defeating itself. While it may have something of a bad stigma, like Big Brother is watching, controlled government regulation is not necessarily a bad remedy to the infestation of fake news in our world today. In theory, governments should promote news literacy and strong professional journalism in their society. And if they do this, the level of democracy and the quality of news would both be positively influenced. Governments could achieve this regulation via the installment of algorithms for identifying and removing fake news by marshalling the same engines that spread fake news in the first place. While these algorithms would probably be developed by social media networks, the government could partner and oversee algorithm creation. This self-regulation of media would increase the confidence of their users in what they encounter online. They wouldn't need to consistently ask themselves if what they are reading is indeed authentic or simply spam. It would also lead to the prevention of the infestation of bots and fake news from our news feeds and ads. Democracy would be saved, or at least, foreign interference would be kept in check. Today we see other governments around the globe regulating their media to eliminate fake news. Indonesia has established a government agency to, quote, monitor news circulating online and tackle fake news. Germany has passed legislation to fine social media outlets up to 500,000 euros for each fake news story it fails to take down from its site. The Czech government is setting up an anti-fake news unit to monitor their websites, and the Philippines is attempting to imprison those who willingly publish or distribute fake news. Clearly, action is being taken in governments around the world. Will this action be successful and sustainable? Fake news is nothing new. It was around centuries ago, and still today it plagues the public with misinformation about critical current events. Its presence is due to malicious authors, foreign powers, and bots who attempt to sway public opinion. And we can combat the creation of fake news through the rationality of our minds, fake news detecting algorithms, and the support of independent professional journalism. Fake news is enabled by micro-targeting, social media institutions, and the trust that viewers have in the media they see and it is diminished by government overseeing media publications and by creating a system for verification. In the end, however, the ultimate antidote to fake news and bots is the rationality of the human mind. Recognize that fake news exists. Don't simply believe and share everything you see online, even if it comes from a source that seems reputable. Everyone has a responsibility to combat the scourge of fake news and disinformation, to be accountable for the legitimacy of news that will impact our thought processes and decisions for years to come.